This is the short version uh, of a demo video for a product that we call Chainlock. If you'd like to find out more information about Chainlock, we encourage you to watch the longer video. There's a, a lot of good information in that longer video. So if you come to our homepage, which is chaintightsecurity.com, what is displayed here is an example of a service provider website such as uh, a bank, like Bank of America. Right, so to log into a, a bank account, typically what you do is you provide your username, which is your email address and a password, and you sign in, right? If you create, if you click on this link here and create your own account, then you'll be able to essentially sign in to your own mock bank account and go through this demonstration using your own account. And that way you'll, you'll understand how Chainlock works a lot better. So we encourage you to do that. So all you have to do is uh, enter your email address and we'll email you a password. And so then you enter your email address and your password here and you sign in. So this will bring you to uh, this page here, which is essentially, again, your, your mock bank account. Down below here is, is the transaction history. The balance is currently $10,000. So if, uh, if a thief is able to log into your bank account using only your email address and your password, you know, your user ID and password, and they're able to get to this point, and the withdrawal feature is enabled, they, well, they can just withdraw money out of your account into their, into their account, right? And this is typically how bank accounts work today. So what this product allows you to do is it allows you to lock that feature, the withdrawal feature, until you want to withdraw money, you can lock out the withdrawal function uh, basically forever until you actually want to do a withdrawal. So the way you do that is you enter a Bitcoin address. It can be any Bitcoin address from any, any uh, it doesn't matter how you generate the address, and you enter it into this, into your service provider website. You basically initialize your account with this Bitcoin address. So in order to chain lock withdrawals, like we click on this chain lock withdrawal button, right? It asks me to enter a Bitcoin address. I've already entered this address previously, so it's a default value in there. So now it's asking me to use a Bitcoin wallet app to transfer 20 cents into the Bitcoin address, and it shows me this Bitcoin address. So over here is a screen capture of this, uh, our cell phone running the Mycelium Bitcoin wallet. And what, the, what I've set up here in this wallet is a general account, which I call BTC wallet, and then some other single address accounts that represents uh, my are tied to my online accounts, like say my Bank of America account. Again, it's just a mock. It's not really tied to that uh, yet. So if I click on the balance of that, it shows me this Bitcoin address that was generated for this account. And that's the same Bitcoin address over here that I assigned to my Bank of America account, my online account. So it's asking me, again, to transfer 20 cents into this address. So the way I do that is I go to accounts and I select my general wallet and I go to balance and then I go to send, right? And I wanna use my addresses and I select my Bank of America account and the amount I select uh, in US dollars, uh, 0.2, right? And then I hit okay. So I'm about to send 20 cents uh, to this address with a lemon cent, a minor fee. So I'm gonna click send. So, I go back to accounts, I can see there's a zero, the balance is still zero for this Bank of America account. It takes a, a few seconds for the, the tra there it is. So the transaction just got there, the 20 cents just got to this account. It took about, what, 10 or 15 seconds is all. So now that there's 20 cents in this Bitcoin address, what happens is when I click proceed over here at my bank, my online bank account, my bank website goes out and evaluates this Bitcoin address. It sees that there's 20 cent balance in that Bitcoin address and so it locks out the withdrawals. And so no one can withdraw money from this account, not even the user, until the user wants to make a withdrawal. And the way the user would do that is he would have to unlock the withdrawals. And so if I click unlock withdrawals, it asks me to use a Bitcoin wallet app to transfer balance out of the Bitcoin address, right? Same Bitcoin address. So, so it's asking me to transfer this 20 cents that's in this Bitcoin address out of that address, which I would just do using, again, using this wallet. I can just send and I can send it back to my general wallet. And then that would be a zero balance Bitcoin address. And when I did that, if I, when I, if I come back to this uh, main page of my account, the withdrawal feature will then, will then be active. 
and I'll be able to withdraw funds. So again, right now, the withdrawal feature is disabled still because in this Bitcoin address, there's 20 cents, there's a, a non-zero balance. So that's essentially how Chainlock works uh, at a very simple level. We have implemented several different enhancement features that you can view by clicking on this page, the enhancements page, but you can only look at that page if you create an account and log in and go through this demonstration process for yourself and then you can view the enhancements that we've already implemented and are working on. So again, if you have any questions, please contact us to do our, our contact page. You can also check out how, the How It Works page. Uh, and we look forward to any questions or comments you might have about the product. Thank you.